seemed like when you emptied that really impressive bench of yours that you were going to run over the top of them. Did you, did you think you were? Well, I thought in momentum in the second half, we probably showed that we were going to. Um, but when you make a, another elementary mistake and they catch you on the counter and score the third goal, then obviously it's an uphill battle. F from the first minute, we concede, which is never easy in a game. And then you can see just before half time, uh, schoolboy defending. I said to the guys at half time, it's it's the little details in in moments in football matches that are the most important. And we didn't do it enough today. I thought we were lazy with our defending. I thought we were lacklustre, uh, and that's not been us. So maybe it's just one of them days. You, you guys went so long this season without scoring from open play, really. We were pretty impressive. Conceding. Street, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then to concede three like that tonight. Yeah. Um, all, all of them probably you could, you could use that description as well. Yeah, it, it, you, you couldn't point your finger at one person. In, in any goal, when you dissect it, you look at it and you think, right, okay, is, is it a slip? Is it a mistake? Is it a wrong decision? But the goals today, there's three or four players that make wrong decisions and no one took that leadership accountability within the penalty box. First goal, second phase. Obviously, he's danced through in the box just before half time and it's a pullback. And again, we've got enough bodies in there. We don't block it. And the third goal is just we square ball in the middle of the field, gets broken up. They've got transition. They've got pace in their team. Uh, Centre-back gets his footwork wrong and then obviously slips in at the near post, which again is the, the keeper over showing. So I don't know. Um, it's one of them days, I think. Yeah, 19 corners to one, 43 crosses to seven. Yeah. I mean, does that hint to a lack of cutting edge or a problem in the final third? Well, yeah. <laughs> I think if I say that, no, no, we're brilliant in the final. We scored two goals. We probably could have scored five or six. I haven't said that. We could have conceded four or five. So... Uh, we're doing things right. I, I said to the, them in there that they should be pleased with the way we approach the attacking intent on the game. Um, we had lots of chances. We put lots of crosses in. It was a big focus of ours. We had lots of corners. We haven't scored from a corner yet, other than the, the flip from Keanu. But we need to score more. If we're creating those amount of chances, as a centre forward in your team, you know you should be licking your lips to play in this team. So can't defend like that it's as simple as that we can have as much good play attacking wise as we want but if you don't defend the back end then you're going to lose points so do you keep mixing it up until you find the right mix there in yep. terms of who you play yeah I said the reason why I build a squad all the time is to get them into a rhythm and a groove um, you know we changed system last 10-15 minutes of the game to try and get after it and it worked you know Bruce comes on makes a difference and it gets an impact when he comes on as do the, the three subs do you mix it up you know, you go right. There's ways to break teams down. You either go around them, you go over them, you go through them, you go into the centre forward, up, back, and throughs. There's so many ways. I thought the ways that we broke them down today worked, but obviously the execution in the in the last action didn't, other than the two goals. How difficult is it to just juggle, I guess, all that in terms of your squad when you've got another game in a few days? I'm sure that's part of the reason why some of the guys were on the bench. That yep. Probably ordinarily start. Yeah, no, listen, th there'll be some fresh legs in the game on Tuesday. We know it's a, a difficult week for us, but managers complain when they don't play, and then managers complain when they have three games in a week. So, you know, it's no problem to us. We'll get the, the best, most suitable bodies for the game on Tuesday. It's going to be a great game here. You know, hopefully we'll get the supporters in like they were today. They were fantastic behind us right, right the way till the end. But again, moments in games are changed by chances as you said with 2-1 down Juki goes through 1-1 one and, one and misses a chance you know it's not Juki's fault he's just got to take the chance next time then the momentum shifts and then we've got half an hour to play with a 2-2 scoreline after digging ourselves a big hole in the first half How are they taking it by the way the players in terms of the, the rotation the, the, the yeah. level of competition within the squad Yeah. Just, how are they taking it yeah I mean because yeah. I'd imagine there'd be some players who would think that they'd be starting Right. Well, they should be starting or, or yeah. be starting in other clubs. You know, you've got a quality uh, squad and that's yeah. the challenge with it. Yeah, no, listen, I hope they do think that oh, I want the, all players to start. You know, if you look at the bench today, Brucey can't complete 90 minutes. Jimmy's just had his two days of training. Much he's only been in the country for 10 days. Uh, Bernie only trained probably properly one or two days, but he was dealing with some stuff which uh, needs to be sorted. So other than that, they've you know, there's stuff going on behind the scenes. It's not as simple as that. Uh, and Juki's been in the country... I don't know how long Juki has been. He's, he told me he's ready to play. You know, he played 30 minutes today, which was good. He gets his goal. But, you know, players will play when they're fit and rearing to go and they're in form. Good. Over to Adrian on Zoom. Oh. Yeah, um, yeah uh, commiserations, Carl. Just um, obviously with a short turnaround in three days' time, obviously, as you say, you'll, you'll make some changes. Did As far as you know, has everybody pulled up all right from the game today? Uh, I think so, yeah. I, the substitutions I made were just strictly to get some more energy in. I'll see how they are tomorrow. 
You know, we, we've got certain players that are, are chomping at the bit to play in certain positions, but we're very bare with other positions as well. Obviously, our defensive players, we've got a couple of injuries in that area, so hopefully they've got through it okay. But uh, listen, whoever's got to play will play. I've got full confidence in them and, and we'll prepare them for Tuesday. I just finishing off, I guess obviously the way the results have been going around the league, it's it's hard to read anything too much. Teams have played different game amounts of games and such like, but how important is it to kind of regain some momentum? I mean, I know you're coming off a, a seven-match unbeaten run, but uh, with back-to-back home games, how much more important does it make it to win on Tuesday, having lost three points today? It's always the next game, isn't it? Um, you know, sometimes you can get ahead of yourself. You win two or three games in a row and everyone says you're a great team. You know, you lose two or three games in a row, you're still the same team. You just probably haven't had the rub of the green or you haven't taken your chances or you defended badly like we did today. So uh, it's exactly the same team. You just got to regroup, brush yourself down, put a smile on your face and go go to work again. And that's what we'll do.